Hey guys, just want to do a video tonight talking about Mel's new bike here. It's a 2017 Giant Trans 4 that we got for her in size small, and I'm working on converting it to a one by setup. It came stock as a two by setup, but I'm going to be converting it to a one by. I've already started the process, removed the front derailleur. But the one thing I wanted to talk, I wanted to do a video specifically about was this FSA Comet crank set that comes on this bike. Uh, based on what I could find on FSA's website, I'm pretty sure I can convert this two by setup to a one by setup just by replacing the chain ring. Should be able to just remove this off of here, uh, remove the chain ring, or remove the two by chain ring and put on a one by chain ring. So let's uh, take a look at the tools you're gonna need to give this a shot. Okay, so here's the tools that I have for this job. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter Allen key. Uh, you might need a breaker bar with a 10 millimeter socket, hex socket on it, uh, because it is on there super tight. You're gonna, of course, need, to need the new chain ring. This is an FSA modular uh, chain ring that should fit right on this uh, crank set. You're gonna need this special FSA uh, lock ring removal tool. It's part number E0611, I believe. I got this on Amazon for like $15. And this will remove the lock ring off the uh, chain ring to be able to remove it. So you definitely need this. And it's a big socket, a big, uh, you'll need a big wrench to remove this as well. My adjustable wrench is too small for it. So that's what I'll be using this pipe wrench for here. So let's uh, get this crank off. Okay, so to remove this crank, it's got a retention system here. If I just zoom in here on the crank, this here, and basically this ring here uh, keeps pressure, I guess, against the spindle, I guess, and as you crank out the inter internal bolt, it pushes the crank out. Now this, you're gonna go counterclockwise, so you're just gonna put your 10 millimeter socket in here, and it's gonna go counterclockwise. Now, full disclosure, I've already cranked on this and gotten it loose, uh, but it is really on there tight, hence the need for probably some sort of a breaker bar. Should just be able to crank it, um, here, there, and pop it loose, loosen it off. And as you loosen it, it'll come out, come off, uh, push against the spindle and come off. Probably maybe you want to switch to an Allen key at this point. You can just use your 10 millimeter Allen in here. And there is a couple spacers in here, guys. So just be careful if you do, when you do pop off this chain ring that you don't the spacers don't end up flying on the floor somewhere. There. So there is a couple little spacers on there. So you just want to make sure you keep those. You don't lose those on there. So I'll just put those back on there. So yeah, so we got basically the crank and the chain ring off. And you'll see on the back of this, there is a lock ring here that will remove this two by chain ring setup. So basically you're gonna to wanna to take that lock ring tool that I showed earlier and it's just gonna basically notch into there. And you'll wanna take your wrench. And if you have a properly sized wrench, it's probably advised that you actually do use it. Basically crank counterclockwise on that and that'll loosen up here. We can take that off. So there's the uh, lock ring. If it focuses on there, there's the lock ring on the chain ring. So that chain ring will just pop off now, like so. And you'll see that it's grooved. It's kind of got like a pattern in here that matches up to the crank arm. And I just lost another spacer. So just be careful, guys. There is, a, there is another spacer that was just on here, like so. And it fell off. The arm there so just make sure you, you're paying attention you don't lose anything like that so this new chain ring again it's notched just like the other one you just kind of have to find it'll only go on one way and you'll see you'll kind of see if it's not on properly I don't know if you guys can see see there's a gap right there in between the chain ring and the crank you don't want that gap. You want to move this around until you find where it's sitting flush 
in there like so. So now we'll just put this lock ring back on. Yes, yeah, so again, just really careful with these threads, making sure they're lined up right before you crank it down because they want to, they seem to want to cross thread or something pretty easily. So again, you'll use the lock tool, the lock adapter to, uh, to tighten this up on here. So there we go. Now we have a one by uh, chain ring on the crank. Didn't have to replace the crank. Just was able to uh, just replace the chain ring and have a one by setup. FSA's uh, website and some documentation online wasn't 100% clear whether this would actually work. So that's why I wanted to do a video to show that you can just swap out the two by chain ring by, for a one by, use your same cranks. So let's get us just throw it back on the bike. So we'll just install it the same way we basically took it off. Just want to make sure those spacers are back on there and just clockwise to tighten it on there. All right, so they're basically there we go. So now we have a one by setup on the bike. So just another step closer to getting this converted to a one by. Like I said, I've already removed the derailleur, front derailleur. I have a new rear derailleur coming in the mail, swapped out the cassette. This is the old uh, 10 speed cassette off the rain. Uh, and then I got a, a shifter that I picked up off uh, used uh, Facebook group. So we're gonna get that put in. So yeah, stay tuned uh, guys. You can get this converted to a one by. Gonna be putting a dropper post on it as well by PNW, so stay tuned for that. Anyways guys, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully this helps anybody else out that has this FSA Comet uh, crank set and they're wondering about converting to a one by and how if that how that's possible. It is, so there you go. Make sure to like and subscribe to Yazram TV. Keep your feet on the pedals. Face to the Hauser.